there's a lot of different combinations the Eagles could do uh, when it comes to this draft. I think free agency will kind of tell us, but maybe there'll be a surprise pick for us. Maybe Howie Roseman will go a different position, a position we didn't think he was going to go, and that's defensive tackle because Jordan Davis, defensive tackle from Georgia, is, oh my God, really good. Um, 6'6", 340 pounds. Uh, for a man that's his size, I mean, he's very shifty. He's not one of those really big defensive tackles that just knows how to bull rush and that's it. Um, he is a nose tackle, so he can get around guys pretty easily. He's got a really good first quick step. Um, and I think he's going to be a pro bowler. And, and, and the way he's going to transition into the NFL for years to come, uh, it's going to be something to watch and something to see. Um, could be a top 15 pick at this point, most likely. Uh, but... Uh, Jordan Davis is something special and because you have contracts with this defensive line right now but your Cox is definitely one of them where they restructured him two times already freed up 11 million dollars and his dead cap number is pretty high right now so I don't think Fletcher Cox is going to go anywhere but there could be a thing where if you draft Jordan Davis you could you know, down the road, try to deal Fletcher Cox. He's the highest paid player on our defense right now, literally. And, you know, Javon Hargrave's making a lot of money right now. After week five or six of the season, team started to really beat on, you know, Fletcher Cox and, and double on uh, Javon Hargrave because, you know, that you lose Brandon Graham. You know, it's a, you know, there's no middle pass rush right now. And that's the problem. Josh Wett's not really living up, you know, living up and producing as much to his new contract. Derek Barnett's walking free agency and Brandon Graham's coming back from an Achilles injury at defensive end right now. So um, could the Eagles go a different route, maybe get a big time free agent defensive end in free agency, like I said, and maybe go a different route here and go draft a Jordan Davis. Now, I know they drafted Milton Williams in the third round from Louisiana Tech last year. I think I think uh, Milton Williams really, um, he was a nice flash in the pan, like first quarter of the season. But, man, I tell you, at the end of the year, especially that finale of the Cowboys game, too, placing the starting offensive Cowboy, uh, the, the starting offensive line for the Cowboys, um, even towards the end of that year, Milton Williams was really improving. Um, when he was in, the longer he was in, the better he was. And uh, I know this is a rotation, rotational defensive line, but I have some high hopes for Milton Williams to do some good things. So even with that, um, if you want to deal Fletcher Cox down the road, which I don't think, I think his contract is until... His contract ends probably 2025. It's going to be a while. Like, it's another few years. So, at this point, I don't know if Fletch is going to be here for that long. I think he's been on, you know, I don't think he's been playing well the past couple of years. But, you know, I'm watching Aaron Donald every single year and, and still getting double-digit sacks and still uh, being disruptive whether he's getting double-teamed or not. And I know we go through this whole thing. And I know people get mad at me for it. But, his contract's just too big for the production we're getting for him right now. He's not getting enough production. I know we need defensive ends. I know we lost Brandon Graham. He had no help. We, we, ha <clears throat> we had no middle pass rush at all. We had no middle pass rush. We didn't have a dominant edge rusher. And obviously losing Brandon Graham, if we had Brandon Graham the whole year, probably be a different story. But could they, have to, could they actually draft Jordan Davis this way, Fletcher Cox has dealt another couple years once the dead cap hit is not too much and they can start, you know, messing with his cap number a little bit to where they can release him or trade him uh, at some point. And then Jordan Davis will have a couple more years on his contract. And then, you know, if Hargrave is still going to be here or whatnot, you still got a promising guy in Jordan Davis on your roster. That's a number one defensive tackle. That will be uh, a defensive tackle for a long time to come. And hopefully pro the production will be longer with him than it has been with Fletcher Cox at this point. So, so um, there's a lot of different combinations, but Jordan Davis is definitely something to keep your eye on in this draft when it comes to defensive line. I know, I know we kind of been looking at defensive ends more in defensive tackles, but I wouldn't keep defensive tackles out of it. I mean, Howie Roseman could go in free agency and get a defensive tackle if that's the case. But at this point, I think the draft is really 
set for this Philadelphia Eagles defense and for this team to rebuild this defense the way you want it to, where you don't have to move up and give away draft picks. And I think Jordan Davis could fall in your lap at 15-16 if that's the case. So we'll see what happens. I think it's a great idea. Um, I'm, I'm all on board for it, but I want to know what you guys think about Jordan Davis, defensive tackle from Georgia, and just where he could fit here. If you think Fletcher Cox is going to be here for a few more years, or do you think like you know another couple years, you know, I think Fletch could be on the move if there's no production on his side. So let me know in the comment section below. I will see you guys later. Shakes going up, follow slide. Peace out, guys. Peace.